Hi, I'm Mark Waltrip, Chief Operating Officer for Westgate Resorts. As many of you may know, on November 28th of 2016, a devastating wildfire struck the East Tennessee and Gatlinburg community. The fire originated in the National Park about 10 miles away from our resort. And that evening, they had extreme winds up towards of 80 miles per hour that pushed the fire across the valley into our resort. And in a matter of moments, uh, the entire resort caught fire. Uh, unfortunately, we lost 624 out of almost 950 units that evening. But what I'm most proud of are the heroic efforts of our team members that are on property. With less than 15 minutes notice, they were able to evacuate close to 1,200 people from the top of the mountain, and not one person was severely injured. Uh, and, and that for which I'm very proud of our team members, their selfless sacrifice, the efforts that they engaged that night with the local Gatlinburg firefighters, uh, probably saved uh, hundreds of lives that evening. Our first priority the day after the fire was to figure out how do we reopen the resort and protect the jobs of the 1,100 team members that we have in that marketplace and restore the beautiful vacation experience to our over 38,000 Westgate owners at this particular resort. I'm proud to say that our resort operations team managed to reopen the resort with, with the 250 units that had not been damaged by the fire and most of our core amenities, including our water park, inside of 10 days. And before Christmas, we were able to get most of our team members back to work. Uh, so we're very proud of that fact. Westgate has the Westgate Resorts Foundation that we founded over 15 years ago and has donated millions of dollars to the communities in which our employees and team members live, work, and play. Uh, immediately after the fire, in fact, within 24 hours, our foundation team was on site uh, assessing the impact to the local community. Uh, Westgate team members, uh, many of whom lost their home, uh, were put up immediately at other Westgate properties and uh, we raised close to $300,000 from our vendors and our, and our existing Westgate team members that we put back into that community to help with relocation, housing, furniture, and whatever needs of the local community. We've run several fundraising efforts, and we also appreciate the support of our, of our valued Westgate timeshare owners, and many of you have contributed to those efforts as well. And we've also been able to create hundreds of new jobs with the construction program of rebuilding back the resort. We currently have uh, one, two, three, and four bedroom units available. Uh, fortunately, one of the main lodge buildings at the top of the mountain, which has recently reopened, uh, was escaped the fire unscathed. Uh, so we have a variety of unit types, albeit we have a lot less unit units that we had available. So what we are doing is giving first priority to all Westgate owners. The one thing that was fortunate about this fire is that it did not destroy the core amenities of the resort. Our 60,000 square foot indoor water park is fully intact, as is our fitness center, the ice cream shop, our new grocery store, our deli. Uh, unfortunately, we did lose our spa and restaurant, but we have expanded the restaurant offering within the water park and made that available to all guests. And we built a beautiful new spa right in the, the center of the resort that just opened a few days ago.